Hey everyone, welcome to Covered Up! Hello, hello, hello! Okay, so Covered Up is a series where I will be reviewing and trying out different types of foundations for all types of brands. Actually, any foundation I come across, I will be reviewing, okay? And I'm doing this because I want to give you guys at home who are watching a virtual guide and a virtual catalog to all these different foundations because if you're like me and have all types of scars and hyperpigmentation and all types of acne you know that not every foundation is up to the task of actually covering up your problematic skin and this is what this show is all about is me helping you guys figure out which foundation is a yay and which foundation is in it which foundation deserves your coins and which foundation doesn't okay now on today's episode i will be trying out born to glow uh, from nyx i got this at clicks a little bit before the lockdown um i wasn't too sure about the shade match because of corona they took away all the testers so i just kind of like you know went on instincts and just picked something that looked closest to my shade as possible and as you can see i did quite a good job at matching my shade now this foundation retails at 130 rand guys 130 rand the radiant finish and the price point is what really had me wanting to try this product and here i am episode number one foundation number one we are putting one to glow in the hot seat and we want to see if it can actually cover up but before we go into today's review and tutorial and chit chat because i will be chitting chatting about this lockdown but before we do all that and before we review this foundation please subscribe to my channel guys since we are here since we are so far ahead in the video and since we are on my channel right now we might as well subscribe and join the family and be part of this lovely gang i have growing right here so go ahead click on that subscribe button turn on the notifications for my channel and follow me on my social media pages okay once you're done subscribing and turning on the notifications and following me on my social media pages this is my final request go into the kitchen grab a little snack sit back relax and enjoy today's video okay so first we just want to start with some primer uh, just to prepare ourselves as okay so first we just want to Okay, so first we just want to start with some primer just to prepare our skin for the makeup. And today I'm going to be using Maybelline Master Prime um, Illuminating Primer in shade number two. There we go. Don't worry about like the names and you know the specifics of the product. They will all be in the description box. So even if you can't see clearly here, don't worry about that. <music> I like to go in with a little setting spray just to kind of like set the primer in place um, Today I am going to be using the makeup setting spray from Woolworths W Beauty I like to put a little bit on my brush uh, before I put the foundation on So I'm going to be doing that as well So yeah, now let's try this foundation um, It is in the shade nightmare i hope i picked the right shade if you follow me like on social media you'll know that like i am locked down i think that's a little bit too dark we'll see but anyway you'll see that i am locked downing with my boyfriend and yeah but <laughs> what you guys don't know is that this is our first time sharing a living space together and it has now been three weeks and i've got some things to say i've got some things to say okay night nutmeg is not bad the shade that is it's not bad i think it's not bad but yeah back to lockdown cohabitation update <laughs> like our first time sharing a living space together you know uh, obviously I was nervous I was very very nervous you know because I thought to myself that um, 
the problems that we have already, the pre-existing problems that we have like as a couple are just going to be more amplified now because we are in the same place 24 seven and none of us can literally go anywhere. You know what I say? Like we can't go escape and go to work, get our mind off a fight or something. He can't go to work, I can't go to work. We're just stuck in this house 24 seven with each other. And yeah, so like obviously I was very, very nervous about that. And also because it's the first time sharing a living space together, I was scared that, what do you call this? Um, this if this is a bad experience, we're not going to be able to like move on and move in together, I guess. If, yeah. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So yeah, if like this is a bad experience for me or for him or for the both of us, you know, we won't, we probably won't want to repeat this again. But going like into the lockdown, um, I wasn't really worried about that anymore because what happened was, let me just give you guys a little backstory. So, um, before the lockdown happened, you guys know that uh, our president requested that we all stay home and, you know, kind of self-isolate, social distance, you know, just to kind of try and flatten the curve. I really like this. So far, I like this foundation. I feel like it has a really nice coverage, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to see like <laughs> the shade match with like the rest of my, and I think it's not bad, you know, I'll, we'll see how it goes at the end of this beat, but this is concealerless, this is color correctedless, and so far, come through NYX, like, come through. So going into like this lockdown, um, I wasn't really worried about all of that anymore because I had like, I don't know if you guys watched my uh, lockdown survival tip video that I did a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't, please go watch it and give it a like, also comment and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, I spoke about how intense things were going into the lockdown, you know, via work for me personally. So my anxiety was all over the place. And I also spoke about how uh, my uncle passed away, you know, so it was kind of like from one bad thing to another bad thing and then lockdown happened and you know it was it was it was a lot it was a lot at that time and, and when the lockdown announcement happened because we had been self-isolating and social distancing at my place he was already at my place so it was kind of like okay just go get more clothes and then somara lockdown buddies you know gang gang cool the reason why uh, i wasn't really um worried anymore going into the lockdown because the days uh leading up to the lockdown that week leading up to the thursday where the lockdown started um a lot of things were happening for me like i said uh i was dealing with a family death you know my anxiety via work and all that kind of stuff and you know um it was unfortunate and I was super, super worried because I had to also prepare for the lockdown, but I couldn't because I just wasn't feeling up to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just not in the headspace and at the time I was still going to work. I was still going to work, so it was kind of like, how can I prepare for the lockdown if I'm still at the office and when I'm not at the office, I just want to sit at home and cry because this news and that I just heard the other day it's just so sad so you can see like when it's blended guys this foundation already um, it has pretty good coverage but I still see some of my spots um, kind of uh, peeking through the makeup which is not a bad thing because as I said in the beginning of the video I won't, I'm not going to be using concealer or, co or color correctors or anything I just want to show you guys how the foundations that I'm going to be trying out perform on skin on like just normal no tricks no tips no help from anything else but the foundation itself so I'm just going to add another layer and we'll see if the coverage is buildable but yeah going into the lockdown I wasn't really worried about um like the things i was worried about when the lockdown was you know announced i wasn't really worried about that anymore when we entered into the lockdown because um as i had as i've said leading up to the lockdown a lot of 
things were kind of like going wrong in my life personally you know and that was kind of like his chance as a partner as my partner to kind of step in and you know just do what needs to be done for us to be ready for the lockdown because i was still going to work i couldn't really help with all the things we need to do before we went into the lockdown like shopping for groceries taking our clothes to the laundry and doing all this stuff and you know he really came through in those two three days he really came through and he really like made me feel or kind of showed me that like i can trust him you know i can trust him i can depend on him you know he is thoughtful you know he is really trying to make my life better and easier you know so i was just like oh my god this lockdown is gonna be so lovely he is so lovely you know i was so excited and all that i think because we got into the lockdown on such good spirit like as a couple with such good energy you know uh it it was really simple in the beginning it was very simple because we just did whatever came naturally for example right i'm on leave from my office job he isn't you know he's still able to work at home so they are still working i'm not working you know i mean in terms of my corporate job i'm not working um eight to five so he wakes up in the morning and he goes to work he sits on the computer and work i wake up in the morning i don't have to sit on my computer and work so i will cook and clean and do all that kind of stuff you know like we just do what comes easy to us you know so it was real real simple in the beginning to like assimilate into each other's schedules and all that kind of you know all that relationshipy stuff you know and you know in that first week or two i really saw a different side to him like he's real helpful he is really thoughtful and you know on a small scale not like on the large scale which i'm used to uh, because we don't live together but when you live with someone or when you like share space with someone you kind of see the little things that they do to kind of make your life easier like when he wakes up in the morning first thing he'll do is wash the dishes because he knows that for the rest of the day he's going to be busy you know working and i really really appreciate that because i don't want to have to wait for him to finish working to wash the dishes then i can make food for us and you get what i'm saying but yeah, how are you guys liking the foundation so, so far i am really loving it um it's really it's really light on the skin it feels like a second skin i don't feel like i have like a lot of makeup on um i love the finish already it glows i really really love that it's not matte i don't like matte situations at all honey i like to glow i like to be dewy i look i like to look alive i, I like to look like just you know a glowing goddess you know like born to glow you know and my ex you get me you get me with the sun but the coverage as you can see is quite buildable so you can just go in with more layers more layers and let's see i think the shade match is pretty good considering the fact that it was during uh the beginning of the corona thing and i really couldn't uh test it because they had taken the testers away i think um i i, I didn't do too bad in terms of matching my foundation it's too bad let me know again too bad i don't know i think i did okay i think i did okay but yeah let's just go and continue with the rest of the makeup look and just continue with our little chit chat so we can just get to the juicy bits i know you guys are here for the mess i know you like the mess so i'm gonna give you a little bit of mess <laughs> and yeah hopefully the makeup look will do justice to this so far not so bad foundation i like it i like it let's continue okay so to contour i am going to be using um, a signature natural beauty contour and highlighting palette um i got it for around 40 rand and uh the brush i am going to be using is one of the brushes that i got from the mr price uh brush kit there's a contouring brush kit or something like that it comes with um a contouring brush blush brush and a highlighting brush but yeah but yeah that's the brush i'm going to be using and i'm going to be using the shade in the middle to just contour my face so yeah back to what i was saying um in the beginning the first two weeks were really great i mean we've had our little ups and downs here here and there we've had a couple of you know conversations 
uh, uncomfortable conversations, you know. Uh, so it hasn't been all kind of rainbows and just cut morning cuddles and you know all that good stuff. Although the morning cuddle slap. I don't know why anyone hasn't told me this about cohabitation but the morning cuddles slap oh my gosh it's amazing and the morning cuddles during lockdown slap different because you don't have to get up and go to work I'm telling you it's chef's kiss but yeah um, we have had our little fights I guess not even fights because I really think I underestimated both of our commitments to like making this a good experience for both of us so our fights lately don't aren't even like really fights you know they're just like an uncomfortable conversation like you say what you want to say i say what i want to say and you know we fix it and that's that on that like we don't just let tension harbor in the house and all that kind of stuff that that's bad just bad i don't like that another up side uh, or another quality that I realized about him um, because of the situation that we're in right now is that like he is just as committed and I know it's gonna sound weird because we've been together for almost five years now but sometimes when you've been together for that long sometimes it's really nice to get some reassurance you know what I'm saying because you don't really talk about um, our intentions every day when you've been together for five years you know like there's other stuff we're talking about is the wi-fi connected is there this and this do you still need this is there water is there the you know what i'm saying like so yeah um it, it's really nice to see that side of him especially because like right now in our relationship i think we just both don't just want to say things we want to show them you know so I mean it's nice to hear a verbal reassurance like oh yeah you know I'm here for the long haul babe you know it's me to it's me and you till I die whatever but it's even better to see the physical manifestation of that of his commitment like, but yeah it hasn't it hasn't been it hasn't all been like roses and morning cuddles and all that kind of stuff like I said in the beginning there are a lot of things that I am that I, that I want him to know about right now okay and number one actually let me start with this one because he's doing it right now guys the xbox the xbox me and this xbox me and this xbox are gonna fight oh my gosh like you know it's just all the time it's just all the time like whenever he has a free moment he's getting on to jam in between waiting for a meeting or something he's jamming <sighs> and you know like i don't i don't want to be that girl who's just like raining on his parade and you know spoiling his fun or whatever because you know he deserves his downtime just as i deserve my downtime but oh my god every day uh -huh. not every day like it's every day multiple times of the day and i'm just like patum abu diaula bikin can you like are you not tired of this thing because i show is i am very very tired you know but i have to keep it strong and keep it together because you know why we have three more weeks of the supposed lockdown and i am not gonna let that xbox outlast me in my own apartment and then i'm just going to take a smaller brush just to contour my nose area but yeah another problem that i have with this damn xbox is that the way he's so addicted to it it takes away from the time he could be doing something else you know like cooking learning how to make something you know like no shade but he is not the best cook in the world and i'm not saying i am or whatever you guys don't understand bro the other day i was editing right and editing kind of took a while that day so 
I was editing well into the night. It was like seven o'clock and he wasn't doing anything. He wasn't doing anything but playing that damn GTA. Actually, I think it was 2K, but he was playing that damn TV game, guys. He was just playing the damn TV game. Like, what is going on? Are we just gonna starve today? I was so stressed, guys. I was so stressed. And that has happened a couple of times, but usually I snap him out of it and I'm like, but I'll just make a sandwich or something. And now I am going to be highlighting with a little powder. It's from Yardley Stay Fast Press Powder Refill. It's in the shade. Oh my gosh, it is in the shade Caramel Fudge. Another thing that really, really gets to me is um, this living arrangement, right? Practically, yo, 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 guys, I don't mind living together, né? but this lockdown is really putting a kink in my schedule because, um, like, for example, I could be busy shooting and then all of a sudden he needs to be on a long air Zoom meeting. Now I have to pause shooting because lockdown what can you do it's just how it is but yeah other than him playing that damn xbox all the time the zoom meetings are getting on my damn nerves they are getting on my nerves the zoom meetings are just getting out of control like they, it's just too many it's just too much it's too much yo button zoom meetings free my man free me free me please for the love of God, please, I am begging you. Okay, now let's do eyebrows. Today I am going to. So, our first fight was about snacks. I'm going to show you your mother. I'm going to show you your mother. Bye.